What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out the One UI 7 update for the Galaxy Tab S10 series. This is the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus I have got here. And I have received this update here in India, in the US, Europe, and many other countries also, you would have already got the update. Now the rest of the devices like the Red Sisters S9 series, Tab S9 series, and uh, S8 series will also follow very soon, probably next month. Now we have got the update for the Tab S10 series. Before you update this device, you need to take a precautionary measure here that has been notified by Samsung on their GoodLock application. First, let me show you that. Let's go to GoodLock application here. Now, if you go to the terrace section here, the left tab here, you will see the notice right on top, precautionary steps for home screen errors before One UI 7 tablet upgrade. They say, this is home of development team. We would like to inform all customers planning to upgrade your tablets to One UI 7 about essential precautionary measure to take beforehand. Now, this precautionary measure is applicable for those of you who are using Galaxy Tab with home screen layout with longer vertical arrangement than horizontal, for example, 5x7 grid via home up app screen layout and a widget that fills the entire vertical space, for example, 3x7 widget. And if you're using these settings, you need to follow these steps before upgrading to One UI 7. It says change the home screen layout to a horizontal grid, for example, 5x7 or 7x5 and remove the widget that fills the entire vertical space. Make sure you do this and then upgrade your tablet to One UI 7. If you want to go through this, you can open GoodLock application, tap on Terrace section and you will see the notification right on top. Now instead, what I'll do is I will go to GoodLock application and go to plugins and tap on Home Up and I'll disable Home Up here. And then I'll go to the home screen settings. I'll tap on settings here and change the home screen grid. This is the home up grid here, five by seven. I will change it to six by five. This is something which is available by default on the device. I'll tap on done and we are good to go. Now let me go to the uh, settings here and tap on software update tap on download and install and here we go. We've got One UI 7 Android 15 now available for the tabs. Let me scroll down here. We have got the uh, all changes mentioned here. When I tap on this, you will be able to see all the features that we've got on the tab. We will briefly discuss about this in this video and uh, you can also see app updates. After the update, Samsung apps can be updated to the latest available version. You can tap on view more. All these Samsung apps will be updated or some of them will be updated after you upgrade it to One UI 7. Now remember, there was no beta for uh, this tab in my region. If you are on beta, you may not be seeing this size upgrade here. The size is 4977.24 uh, MB, which is almost 5 GB update. And this huge update is because I was not on beta. This is the fresh new update I'm receiving. But in your country, if you had beta, you may get around 400 to 500 uh, MB of update. And this is on March security patch 2025. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead, download the update, install it, and let's see the stability on the device. Let's see how is the animation. If there is any issues with regard to lags and stutters on the device, let's check all that. And we'll also see other application updates. So let me go ahead and download this. This is almost 5 GB file. It is gonna take me uh, slightly more than three minutes, it says or maybe somewhere around two and a half minutes it'll take. Once it is downloaded, I'll install it and I will come back to you guys in a bit. Here it is, the tablet has been updated. It says, welcome, One UI 7.0. Let me tap on start. We've got Galaxy AI, advanced intelligence. We've got all the features which are available. I'll tap on more and tap on next. And here we have got the Gemini feature, which is now available on the side key. We can press and hold the side button to access Gemini now, or we can also change it to chat GPT. You can select your own assistant now, but by default, we can press and hold on the side key to activate Gemini, which is fantastic. Let me tap on next. Instantly access Access notifications and quick settings. We are going to take a look at it now. Uh, you're all set up. See what's new. Let me tap on home. Now let's quickly open a few applications and check out the animations. There we go. It actually feels pretty cool. <laughs> I'm loving it. It feels completely different compared to how we feel the animations on the phone. This feels much more smoother compared to the phone's animations because of the larger screen. As you can see, I'll go to the recent applications. Let me close them. Look at the animation here. It looks beautiful and smooth. No stutter whatsoever. It's fantastic. Now let's open the quick panel. There we go. It is towards the side here. If I open from the left side, we've got the notification panel. 
Look at the animations. It's just perfect. If I open it from the center, it's opening the notification panel. And from the right side, you can see the quick panel. Now, this is the brand new quick panel we have got on One UI 7. And if you want to edit this and get your previous quick panel back, all you need to do is tap on this pencil icon and here tap on panel settings. And you can select separate or together. Now, if I select together, you can see I'll just tap, I'll just go back here, tap on done. And now it's together. You have got the quick panel on top and notification panel. I would rather prefer the brand new option that we have. Let's go to the uh, quick panel settings and let me go to the panel settings. I'll select separate. And here, if you want to put the quick panel on the left hand side, you can do that as well, but I will keep it as it is. Here we go. We have got the quick panel on the right and the animation is just fantastic. Let me press and hold on the home screen. It's snappier here. It's not as smooth as the app opening animation. It's quite snappier here. Anyways, uh, so the animation is perfect. I don't see any lags or stutters. Now let's go to the Galaxy Store and check out if there is any new updates for the applications. Yep, we have got a whole bunch of updates for all these applications. You need to make sure that you install all of them. And we have got all these new icons here, as you can see, for Samsung Calendar, for Clock, for Calculator, Reminder, Voice Recorder, and we've got many more new icons. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna update all of them here. You need to make sure that you update all the applications so that your uh, tablet runs smoothly. Let me tap on update. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. We will check that out in a bit. Now what we will do is let's go to the good luck application and let's see if that interesting home app, the brand new home app is available for the tablets yet or not. Let me scroll down. Uh, home app, there is no update so far and your operating system upgrade. I think home app is not working yet. And when I tap on this, it says congratulations for your new operating system upgrade. And uh, this app version is not compatible with new operating system. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought along with the One UI 7 update, we will have the home up uh, module also active, but it is not. Samsung may take some more time to uh, activate this module, bring those amazing, incredible new animations and folder customizations and the side panel, the uh, edge panel customization and all that will be coming on home up very soon. And that's going to be very interesting because on the tablets, we can have a do-it-yourself home screen, which will be just crazy. And I'm going to come back with another video uh, once we have the home up module active on the tablets. Now, we have got more or less all the uh, modules here. You've got update for NAV star as well. Let's go ahead and update this. Uh, we have got update for multi-star. I'll update this. Sound assistant, I'll update this. Uh, we have got all the module right here. And uh, now what we're going to do is we will check out some brand new features. Let me press and hold on the home screen here and I'll tap on settings. Uh, Samsung has streamlined the home screen grid and app, st app screen grid. Uh, now let's see how many home screen grids we have got now. We have got eight by six and 10 by six. These are the only default home screen grid that we have got. Earlier we had multiple different options, but now that has been streamlined and we are given with only two options, eight by six and 10 by six. And if we need more, we have to rely on home up. Now let me keep eight by six. I will go back here. Now let's check out the app screen grid. Again here, we have got eight by six and 10 by six. This nine by seven that you're seeing here, this is uh, the app screen grid from the home up module. I think I did set this earlier through home up and that is why this is showing up. Otherwise it will be eight by six or 10 by six. I will select eight by six and tap on done. This is my grid here and I have got the home screen grid right here. You can see it looks fantastic. Now I already discussed about the new icons. We've got all the brand new system icons here on the uh, One UI 7 and that is kind of refreshing. And let's go back to the quick panel here and let me show you how we can edit this. We can press and hold on this and move it around to edit the quick panel and uh, you can place uh, the items wherever you want. That is the flexibility now we get on One UI 7 and uh, we have got this transparent background which also looks fantastic. Now let's check out the lock screen here. Let me press and hold on the lock screen uh, to enter into lock screen customization options. Now this is a brand new lock screen we have got on One UI 7. You can see the shortcuts are in transparent and when I select the shortcuts, we have got all the action buttons here and then we have got all the apps, the third party applications and uh, the system applications which can be set on the shortcuts here. Now let me tap on the clock here as you can see, we've got two different panels here, font and color style. If you want to change the clock style, you can come here. And if you want to change the font color, you can select this option. And you can also see we have got a couple of new clock options here. It has got some cool animations and uh, I can actually increase the size of the clock 
and move this clock around. And I think on the tabs, we can only move it in this area. I really wish we could move this uh, all around wherever we want, but yeah, this is restricted within this area on the tabs. Now uh, let's go back to the font color. Now I can select any color that I want. I think for this specific uh, style, we can't do that. Let me select the first one here. Let's try to move this again. This is restricted and we can select the font color and we can also make the, uh, the font thicker or thinner using this slider over here. As you can see, I can change the uh, thickness. I can increase the boldness of the font, which is fantastic. Now let's go to the wallpapers. I will probably select a wallpaper from the gallery. Maybe this one, I'll tap on done. Let me tap on suggest here. Now the uh, AI or maybe the system is gonna suggest us a few options. You can see we have got uh, this option with a frame on it and we have got a different frame here. So we get different suggestions for a wallpaper which can be applied using this particular feature. And we have got effect, frame and gallery options and all these options are right here on the lock screen itself. So that is a brand new lock screen we have got. And I have also noticed when we open a specific application and when we try to open this uh, bar here with the apps, the background has changed. We've got a different background now and we've got this thin border here around these applications as you can see, which also looks pretty cool. Uh, and we also have this uh, app tray button which we had earlier as well. And you can see we've got a different uh, background blur now. We've got this border here as well and we've got a different transparency level. We've got frosted glass for the app background here and a slightly different transparency level for the uh, background. Right here you can see on the edges here. So this is something new something refreshing which looks pretty cool. Now let's check out the app tray. We have got this brand new app tray here. Now by default you don't see that new app tray, the vertical uh, app tray you will not be able to see. So all you need to do is tap on the three dot button, tap on sort and tap on alphabetical order. Now this is the brand new vertical scroller we have and you can use the alphabet here to search a specific application. So this is a brand new option that we have on One UI 7 for the tablets. Now let's open the camera application. This is a brand new camera app on One UI 7 for the tablets. We have got this button here on the left hand side which expands to all the options that we have. And then we also have this new layout on One UI 7. This is a brand new layout and options. We now do not have AR zone on the camera application. We just have Bixby vision option here. And then we have got the rest of the options right here. So that's a brand new uh, camera application that we have on One UI 7. Next, let's go to the settings. Let me tap on the battery. Now here we have got battery protection. And uh, if you have enabled battery protection, what this does is, this will increase the lifespan of your battery. We have got basic, adaptive and maximum. And now on maximum, we have got this brand new feature or brand new option, 80, 85, 90 and 95% depending on your usage, you can select this. I have already discussed about this in detail in the past. So if you missed those videos, you can check out the channel. The One UI 7's detailed video for the phone is available on the channel. I will leave a link also in the description. That will give you more or less all the details that you need for One UI 7 on the tablet because it's the same One UI 7 on the phone as well, it will be applicable for the tablet also. Now let's check out the most interesting feature on One UI 7 that is the now bar. Let's go to the lock screen and AOD settings here. We have got now bar right here and we have got almost all the application which are supported here. But unfortunately, we don't see sports from Google for the live notifications or for the now bar. You can see we have got maps, Samsung Health, Interpreter, Clock, Voice Recorder, Samsung Notes, Emergency Sharing. But there is no sports from Google for the tablet, at least for now, which is really unfortunate. I think Samsung should add this option. And then we have got the media player, as you can see, and the current mode also. Now let me quickly show you how the now bar looks on the tablet. Let me go ahead and uh, play some music here. I'll play this music and now you can see we got the live notification here. I can tap on this to expand this. You can control the media player right here on the live notification. If any other activity is running from the system applications like the timer or health app or anything, that will show up right here on this window. And when you lock the tab, you can see this is the all new now bar we have got. We can quickly access some important information on the now bar without unlocking the phone. That is the purpose of this. And this is a fantastic feature. It would be great to have the uh, sports from Google on the tablet. So uh, let's wait for that update. And unfortunately there is no now brief as well. Let me press and hold on the home screen. Let's see if we have got now brief widget here. I'll search for now brief. As you can see, there is no now brief widget on the edge panel. Also there is no now brief here. 
I can only see AI select drawing assistant interpreter. There is no now brief here. So no now brief for the Galaxy Tab S10 series. Let's hope it will come in the future. But again, it depends. Uh, I don't really prefer now brief. It is not really uh, of any use for me. But if you are someone who prefer that on your tab, it is currently not available. Now let me show you the brand new drawing assist. This is a brand new layout we have got. We have got six different options to create the images and we've got three different input options. We can use text. We can uh, input the text here to generate images. We can use gallery tab to attach any images and further edit it. And we have got the uh, S Pen uh, icon there using which we'll be able to draw on this area and generate images. So that's the brand new generative edit for you guys. Uh, then we have got the AI select. Now we have already discussed in details about this, these features uh, for the Galaxy phones. We can draw something and select the portion of the screen and we get the contextual menus here. As you can see, we can crop the screenshot, pin it, copy it, share it and download it. We can use Drawing Assist right from here. When we tap on this, it will directly take us to Drawing Assist. We can further edit this image and uh, we have got a few more options. We'll be able to create GIFs using this. Let me draw it again. We've got generative edit. I've got three dot buttons set as wallpaper, create GIFs. So there are different options here which can be executed using the smart select feature. Likewise, there are many more AI features and many more new features on the tab. I have already discussed all these features for the phone. You can refer my video, uh, a complete guide for One UI 7 video. I will leave a link for that in the description that will be applicable for the tablet as well. So I don't want to deep dive into each and every features here in this video, but if you want a dedicated video for the One UI 7 on the tablets, do let me know in the comments section. I can try to create that for you guys. Now, finally, we have got One UI 7 on the tab. I don't see now brief. I don't see sports from Google feature and uh, rest of the features are available on the uh, Galaxy Tab. Let me know what do you think. Let me know whether you have got the update, whether you have got these missing features or not. Drop a comment. This is something I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you want to know more about your uh, Galaxy Tabs, Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches or any other Android devices and anything related to technology, go ahead, subscribe. You will learn a lot on the channel and do not forget to hit that like button for this video. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.